Gamer. When NHL 22 launches this year, it'll be the first game in the series to be available on the Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. Last year's NHL 21, while able to be played on the new consoles, was released exclusively for last gen due to development changes. NHL 21 saw a completely overhauled Via Pro that gave the mode the shot in the arm that it so desperately needed for many years. On top of that, modes like the ASHL and Franchise also got some nice improvements. That said, NHL 21 still left a bit to be desired across all of its offerings. NHL 22 is the start of a new generation for the franchise, and there's ways to make sure that it starts out with a roar instead of a whimper. I'm Mike from Sports Gamers Online, and here are 10 things that we want to see from NHL 22. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Sports Gamers Online so you never miss any of the latest sports gaming content. And you can also join the official SGO Discord by visiting sportsgamersonline.com slash discord. We kick things off with the need for a new engine. Now we know this is likely going to happen with this year's game, but until it's confirmed, it makes the list. After seven years on the Ignite engine, it's time for NHL 22 to bring the series forward with a new engine. Sure, the Frostbite engine might not be the greatest for sports games, which we've documented often, but it's still better than what the series has been using. The game is looking and feeling stale after a subpar showing on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. It's time to start things anew, and the best way to do that is by bringing the game forward to be on par with the likes of a Madden and a FIFA. Up next, we want more player likenesses. I feel like a broken record with this one, but more player likenesses are a must. With each game, we've been getting more and more likenesses added, but it's just not been enough. It's okay if a guy who spent most of the time in the AHL or somewhere else doesn't have a face scan of the game. What's not okay is when EA has either been using the same exact face scan for years, for longtime veterans, or just never scanned a player to begin with. Last year was a pass because of the pandemic, but this year, especially on new platforms, should have newly scanned players coming into the game, and quite a bit of them. Up next, we want to see the Winter Classic and Outdoor Games return to the series. Another item that appeared on the list last year, bringing back the Winter Classic and other outdoor games would be a great addition for the series. They haven't been a part of the game since the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 era, and fans have continued to beg for their return. Many of the venues are already available thanks to games like FIFA and Madden, and if NHL 22 ends up on the same version of Frostbite as those two, it seems like a no-brainer to bring the feature back. Now, should that happen, it would also be nice if they could somehow get four or five of the past outdoor venues in the game. Besides, how cool would it be to see the Winter Classic or Stadium Series integrated into franchise mode? The next thing we want to see in NHL 22 is a deeper creation suite. Now, the creation suite in EA Sports NHL isn't the worst, but it could be better. Let players create an arena in more detail for their franchise. Give more hair and facial hair options, and add new and interesting equipment to use. For goalies, allow us to create our own mask designs. Enough with these boring masks that no one even wants to use. Make the game fun and let the creative juices flow. Sure, it's the best suite in all of the EA Sports titles right now, but that's a pretty low bar and it still needs to be improved on. Oh, and also work better at keeping the trash team and player names out of the game. All right, EA? We're hitting the halfway point of this list by talking about the need for more leagues in the game. Now before you even ask, no, the KHL is likely to never be in an EA Sports NHL video game. That said, there are other leagues that could make their way into the title. The USHL with generic players, of course, could be added. And with the new NIL policies from the NCAA, maybe fans finally get college teams into the game for an added twist. Of course, however, my big hope is that women's teams finally get their rightful place into the game. The NWHL continues to grow and having it make its way to the NHL series would be a great step towards building a younger fan base. Now we have this on the wish list for NHL 22, but we're realistic. This likely isn't going to be into the game due to the conversations we've had with both the NWHL and Pro Women Hockey Players Association, solely because they haven't had any talks with EA about licensing themselves to the franchise. But until it happens, this is something I'm going to champion for, and it's something I know a lot of women's hockey fans and hockey fans in general want to see happen sooner rather than later. Up next, let's talk about the ASHL playoff system. Now they tried in NHL 21, but the ASHL playoff format that was introduced last year was a complete failure and an absolute mess. 
Some things were nice, like not knowing who your opponent was until you got into a game, but that was really it. The playoffs lasted far too long compared to the regular season, while it felt that you had to play the game endlessly to even have a chance to be a champion. At least with the old system, a team of friends that didn't have the time to play 100 games a day could still win a division championship. They need to find a nice middle ground to not only reward the teams that dedicate themselves hours each day to playing this game, but also give those that don't have a lot of time on their hands reasons to come back and try and become a champion within their rightful division in the league. Next up on the list, we want to see the All-Star Weekend and Skills competitions come back to the franchise. Now this is a feature that falls more into the nice to have category, but adding All-Star Weekend and the Skills competition back to the series would be a nice touch to give fans something different to play. Seeing a full weekend of events in franchise mode would add a new wrinkle to a mode that has continuously gotten better by the series over the years. Getting that alert that a player on your team was selected to take part in the accuracy event just makes the mode feel more authentic. Now take it out of franchise mode. Just imagine killing time with friends locally or online by setting up a custom set of competitions for bragging rights. I don't know about you, but that does sound pretty fun. NHL 2K5 had a fun skills mode, and NHL 22 should try and catch up to that game from 17 years ago. Moving on to another feature that we've talked about for years of wanting in the series, and that's roster sharing. Why this still hasn't happened yet is beyond me. I don't want to hear about the amateurism of NHL prospects and draft picks because that hasn't mattered for NBA 2K or EA Madden. Besides, it's not just rookies and prospects fans care about. What if you want to create 32 classic rosters? What about a full league of just random superhero characters that you can share with the world? The feature is in almost every other major sports title, so it's about time that the NHL series gets with the times here. With roster sharing, the developers can then put the burden of roster updates on the players. Now that doesn't mean eliminate the official roster updates entirely because that would just be ridiculous, but trade updates and signings could be addressed by fans a lot quicker while waiting for the official updates to come out. Keeping the trend of things we've asked for in the past going, why not have the return of online franchise or GM Connected? So you see this dead horse? Well, it's going to continue to be beat until this request is finally answered. It may seem like it'll eventually go away, but this is something that'll be asked for every year by almost every player in the community. There's nothing more to say here other than just bring back online franchise, GM Connected, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Just give fans a way to enjoy the improved franchise mode with their friends. The demand is there. The only reason it wasn't popular on the Xbox 360 and PS3 is because the servers and menus were so slow and terrible that the mode was basically unplayable, leading to people trying it and then never touching it again. If the developers don't care about a mode, why should the players? It's kinda why Be A Pro wasn't touched by fans until this past year's NHL 21 saw the overhaul of it. And the most important thing we want to see from NHL 22, it's pretty simple. It's the release of the game on the PC. Another Dead Horse special. It's been 13 years since an NHL game was released on PC, and that's long enough. Madden came back when it switched over to Frostbite, so it only makes sense that NHL does the same when the game makes the switch. Piracy is nowhere near as big of a concern as it used to be and adding the game to a service like, say, an Xbox Game Pass could be a great way to get more new players into it. Besides, think of the mods that would be done to make the game even better. I mean, it's not unheard of to see EA hire modders based on the work they did on a product of theirs. So sports gamers, now it's time to pass the question off to you. What do you want to see in NHL 22 when it's released? Let us know in the comment section below and be sure to stick with Sports Gamers Online for everything NHL 22. If you want to see more NHL 22 wish lists and videos focusing on specific modes and features, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Sports Gamers Online and hit that bell so you never miss any of our latest content.